since they uh, figured out what kind, what's wrong with my lungs. One thing that I've done is I've kind of researched a little to learn a little bit more about this type of pneumonia and about the mucus plugs and uh, look for x-rays and CTs that look a lot like mine did. Uh, but that gives me an idea of what I'm looking at. And then the next thing I do is lose where I'm at. Uh, look right here. I know the bronchial tubes are involved, but I want to know how I'm doing conventional medication. I don't know what else I can do. I know a cough syrup I can mix that we've done since I was a kid. Uh, I want to know if there's how, what kind of home remedies that can help, not replace, but enhance the therapy that I'm taking. Because they're saying six months to a year. And uh, that's a little long for me. And I'm finding different things like here's aspartame, MSG, and excitotoxins. Uh, the global reset. So, you know, I'm finding different, different things here. That, these are very special reports. And... We don't do. We don't eat nothing. If it's got and sausage and gravy is the worst thing to have it. We don't eat nothing that has MSG or monosodium glutamate. Uh, and it can. I think there's 24 or 42 different names that they can stick it in your food with that puts it in there, but you don't know it's in there. Uh, that's MSG. Aspartame is easy. You got sugar. You got sucrose and you got aspartame. There's others, but mostly aspartame are sweet and low. That's aspartame. And uh, aspartame and MSG both and any of the excitotoxins, aluminum foil or anything aluminum, all that can cross the blood brain barrier, go into the brain and cause tumors, Alzheimer's, anything that's connected with the brain. It can damage the brain. We right now got enough stuff now, stainless steel, to replace all these cheap Walmart aluminum nonstick cookie and cake pants. Um, it's strange. The first time I went for the cyber knife, I had two tumors that were going to burn out, and they couldn't find either one of them. The second time, I had three tumors, and they only found one or two. One had disappeared. Nobody could explain it. I was watching a thing on Netflix, and it was talking about essential oils and stuff like that. Come to find out, frankincense is known to kill brain tumors. I've used frankincense for a couple of years now, but I used it because I've got rheumatoid arthritis and it's an all-natural help for it. Well, I didn't know, I didn't have a clue that anything for brain tumors. So that may be the reason why they, I mean, good Lord, made the ultimate decision. All right, here's one. Uh, you know, I looked at this, I just stumbled across it. Bronchitis, which mine's mostly in my lungs, but hot shower. I take a hot bath. Uh, not supposed to with the cutaneous C-cell lymphoma, but I do. Uh, I haven't done the bowl and towel thing or the humidifier. Drink foods, I like chai tea. So my wife has made me some chai tea and uh, I don't eat chili peppers. Cut back on the milk, the milk products. And homemade cough syrup. He's got, make one that cuts back on phlegm out of red onions, fresh lamb is organic honey. And even though I don't drink alcohol, I do take the strongest 
uh, liquor that I can find. And uh, I used to get popcorn suddens, but he's dead now. But anyway, I grew up on this type of cough syrup. You put the liquor in a bowl and you mix whorehound stick candy or rock candy, whatever you got. And you take a lemon. Usually it depends on, you know, you work by half lemon to a full lemon. And then you take honey, but that can't be just go to the store and buy honey. It has to be a honey. The closer that honey is to you, the better it's going to work. You let all that dissolve. And then you take a couple, three tablespoons of ever so many hours. Don't smoke. Uh, these herbs, I don't know about this and this. This one, you got to watch if your blood pressure is high. I know that. Uh, vitamin C. Vitamin C is good for once you get an infection. To prevent an infection, you get to do vitamin D. And that one second one that starts with an E. I've heard of it and I've heard it's good. Uh, best thing to do is go to WebMD if you wonder how those particular things are going to uh, make a difference or interact with anything or cause side effects because they'll tell you everything. So anyway, it's another thing to do. But it may be based on that. It may, maybe it's why he's having to use that. So that's one thing that I do. Another thing you could do is, is uh, you could read some of your favorite books or something new, something like I, I got this. This is a uh, one I just noticed that Stephen Quayle and Thomas Horn put out. Two researchers I probably would not have pictured together, but one wrote the front of the book, one wrote the back of the book. Uh, not read it all yet, but from what I've read, I really like it. So. Uh, you, know, you could, if you can, if you're able to read, you can do that. You can watch YouTube, watch television, do like I'm doing, and making YouTube. Just anything, but no way there. Don't let your mind go to rest. Another thing you can do is read. This is a good book. Bought it a while back. Still haven't finished it. It's by Stephen Quill and Dr. Thomas R. Horn. Two pretty good researchers and writers. This deals with, uh, it's kind of biblical, but it's extra biblical. So that's something you can do.